Well, we're launching the View from a Train app, which has been developed by Scottish National Heritage, and it's designed to help um, individuals who are using train journeys to understand the natural environment around them and to enhance the visitor experience. So it's uh, an important development and hopefully one that people will, will enjoy using. I think a lot of people, when they, they pass through Scotland on the train, they see things and think, oh, that looks interesting, but they don't know what it is. Um, so here's an app that as they go along, they don't have to check their guidebooks, they can just press the button and find out something about what it is they're looking at. You're going to enhance and enrich any journey that you make by actually listening to this and, and, and watching along at the same time. When I was asked to do the voiceover for this, um, I didn't realise how big a job it was, to be honest, because I hadn't realised it was actually five railway journeys. The job that I do normally for the BBC covers a lot of Scotland, and from that you know that you can't learn everything. But I was very keen to be part of this because it, it's another way of approaching an audience. It's another way of people getting involved. I mean, if you just look down at the coastline here, the geology is such that the rock actually tilts up. What that is, is lagoon floor. Once upon a time, this area was south of the equator. It was much, much warmer. This entire area was, was tropical. Um, it's all moved up here, etc. Again, it's, it's those things, you find out about it and you start to think, there's, there's more to this. I spend a lot of time on trains every week and uh, one thing that's always struck me is um, I see a lot of visitors to Scotland who spend the time on trains reading books or reading guidebooks. But why not look out the window? Why not just see what's happening as you go past? And this app allows you to just press the button and it'll tell you something about it. I think we, we all have been on journeys where you've been looking out the window wondering what it was you're seeing out, out there and, and understanding uh, the nature of the environment around you. So what kind of species are there? What, what's actually helped uh, form the, the kind of habitat that you're seeing? And what that other forms of heritage are there in terms of castles, uh, towns, and, and the kind of heritage, the cultural heritage there is as well. So it really enhanced the visitor experience. It's just saying to people, look, 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 look what's out there. Don't sit there beside a beautiful view reading a book. You can listen to this and look at it and learn at the same time.